The Lord be with you. Hello again, all saints. Now, once Jesus had gone to join the Father, the disciples were gathered praying, and they suddenly realised that they needed to appoint a new apostle because Judas was no longer with them. There was a meeting of the believers. There were about a 120 of them. Peter stood up and said, Brothers, in the scriptures the Holy Spirit said through David that something must happen. The Spirit was talking about Judas, one of our own group who served together with us. The Spirit said that Judas would lead men to arrest Jesus. So now a man must join us and become a witness of Jesus' being raised from death. He must be one of the men who were part of our group during all the time the Lord Jesus was with us. He must have been with us from the time John began to baptise people until the day when Jesus was taken up from us to heaven. They put the names of two men before the group. One was Joseph Barsabas, who was also known as Justus. The other was Matthias. The apostles prayed. Lord, you know the minds of everyone. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to do this work. Lord, show us which one should take his place as an apostle. Then they used lots to choose between them, and the lots showed that Matthias was the one. So he became an apostle with the other eleven. After Jesus' ascension, the twelve disciples, as we know them up until now, become known as the apostles. The word apostle is a, a title for somebody who's sent to represent somebody else, like an ambassador. The apostles were the chief representatives of Jesus in the early church. When there was a question about how the church should do something, it was the apostles who had to make the decision. A bit like the school council might make decisions on behalf of the other students at the school. The role of apostles was passed down from generation to generation, though as the church grew they needed more of them, one in each main centre of the church, and they would come together occasionally to make decisions on how they should all live in their different places. Today we refer to their successors as bishops. Because London is so big, we have a number of bishops both in the Church of England and in the Catholic and Orthodox churches. Here is Bishop Sarah, the Bishop of London, when she was being installed. You can recognise her because she's wearing a large gold pointy hat and she's carrying a very ornate shepherd's crook. In every organisation there are different roles that people play. Within your school you have teachers, who teach you. You have teaching assistants who work with you and help you as well. But you also have lots of other people making meals, maintaining the school, looking after you at other times of the day, and keeping the, the whole school running the whole time. Everybody has an important role to play, to make things run smoothly, and to look out for one another. In the church you find the same thing. There are bishops, there are parish priests, there are chaplains and deacons, there are church wardens and Sunday school leaders, servers, choir members, and many more people. Each has an important role in building up the church. The disciples weren't particularly special people. They were ordinary people, like you and me. But they were chosen and called to do specific jobs within the church called out and given the gifts from the Holy Spirit to be able to do those things uh, and all the other things that they needed to do in their role as the church grew. And the same is true for each of us. We all can do incredible things if we are willing to accept the gifts we're given and use them to care for, help and support one another. So let us pray for God to send his Holy Spirit to empower and give each of us the gifts that we need. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who chose St. Matthias to be one of your apostles and who chooses 
men and women, to follow you, to lead your church, and to do good works on your behalf throughout the world. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. Give us the gifts that we need to care for and love one another and take up the roles that you give us that we can fulfill and flourish in this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to recognise everyone as loved by God. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to have compassion, hope and trust. We are all saints, and we aspire to learn with faith, faith that enables us to persevere, to respect one another, to grow in wisdom and to flourish. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints, to comprehend the breadth and length and height and depth of all things. I pray that you will know the love of Christ, which surpasses all knowledge. Amen. One of the things that a bishop gets to do is that they confirm people once they have uh, been baptised, or they baptise them perhaps, but they confirm their baptism when they come to an age where they can make the decisions uh, to be baptised or to take up the role of being a Christian for themselves. And we're very lucky that next month, uh, at the end of June, we're going to have the Bishop of Edmonton, who's the local bishop uh, for us here in London, uh, come in to confirm a number of people in here in All Saints. And so as they prepare for their confirmation, let us pray for them, and I pray for all of you that you would be confirmed in whatever things you are choosing to do now, that they would um, that you would be able to uh, do them to the best of your ability and that you would um, come to know the love of God in each of your lives. And may God bless you. God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.